Um, I will say, I don't quite get the demons never change thing. <laughs> or, you know, like the magical world of, I don't, I don't know how it works really. The, the magical world of, world of wardrobe and when, you know, whatever, like somehow we, I don't, is it fake? Is it not real at cloth? I don't know. <laughs> so, so yeah, so maybe I'd enjoy occasionally wearing a different outfit. Hi. <laughs> I was wondering, even though Meg has been around longer than like any other villain on the show, we've never really found out much about what happened to her before we met her, and I wondered if you had ever made up any theories or stories yourself to kind of help you figure out why she has the motivations that she does. I, I have. I have a vivid imagination, so I can kind of, you know, go off and riff on that. But also, I, I had a curiosity, which is, I guess I found out Azazel, I don't think it was her biological father, just her father creator. And at first I thought, well, maybe he was her biological father, in which case she's actually an angel, because Azazel, biblically speaking, was a fallen angel. This is how much of a geek I am. So I actually had a question the first time we were working with the flame. I was like, am I, if I fall into it, do I burn up like an angel because I'm a part angel? But I don't know, I've never, I, I was told no, so, <laughs> it was wrong. Thank you. Hi. Um, my question is, if you were part of an episode of Supernatural where there was a body swap, what character would you want to portray? Oh, wow. Um, I actually, I don't know that I'd swap bodies. I love playing Meg. I get the coolest lines. Um, uh, I, you know, I'd say one of the guys, because I like kicking butt, so um, if I don't get to be make kicking butt, then I'd be, I'd probably be uh, either, either one, either Sam or Dean. Um, yeah. Hi, I just want to say welcome to New Jersey, Thank and you. Um, if you had the opportunity and the immunity to do anything you wanted in New Jersey, whether it be find Jimmy Hoffa or punch Snooky in the face, <laughs> what would you do? Well, I think the audience is voting for punch <laughs> Snooky in the face. Um, gosh, if I had immunity, I, I have no idea. Um, I don't, I, again, geek. Like, I'm a, you know, I think New Jersey and I think Thomas Edison. You know, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like I, I'd go back in time and, and, and work with Tom Edison. I don't know. <laughs> but, but, you know, I, I do like that everyone likes punching Snooki, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. I have two questions to ask. Go for it. And if you don't want them, you don't have to answer them. Okay. <laughs> That, that torture scene you mentioned, when you were strapped down, you weren't really dressed for you. What was that? You weren't really undressed under those straps for you. Well, partially, as, you know, to be, um, I'm trying to remember what I got, but it wasn't much. <laughs> it, there wasn't much room to hide things. That same episode, Easter Collins pushed you against the wall and kissed you around the <laughs> How many times? I wish I would for that. Yeah. <laughs> How many times did you have to do it to get it right? You know what? I don't recall. Um, no, you know, I will say it, it's a, a funny thing, but I think when you're acting, you're often thinking more technically. Uh, I hate to say it, but you're, you know, it's like I was thinking about the, the time it took and, you know, am, am I doing everything right? Am I landing in the right place for camera and things like that? Um, as much as I, all the guys on the show are very attractive people, they're also all married and all these things. So there's like a part of me that just like shuts off. I don't think of it, I don't think of them in that way. Um, but it was it was a fun scene to shoot. <laughs> Certainly not bad on the eyes. So. Hi, Rachel. Hey. Let me start off by saying that you are absolutely stunning. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, and speaking of theories, if Meg were human, 
say she made a deal and went down to hell, what time period do you think she would have been born in? My personal favorite is perhaps she was Mary Magdalene and she made a deal with a demon to resurrect Jesus. What wow. Do you think about that? I think that's awesome. I think you should write that as a story. Um, I really, I really like that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, what time period does she belong in, or what pe pe time period do I personally love? Or? What you would personally love to see her like live in? I think I'd be fascinated to see her live in like the Renaissance, and you know, just. Uh, I think she actually would have a great creative flair and, and would do some really interesting things and there'd be so many rad people to, to hang out with and create with, so, yeah. Thanks, that's awesome. Hi, real quick before my question, you're really awesome and I loved when you refer, referred to Crowley as a smarmy dick. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite insults of your character. But uh, in the season seven finale, you fought alongside the Winchester brothers against Dick Roman. What yeah. was it like to finally take part in the big, epic season finale battle? It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, definitely everything I, you know, I, I've always wanted to be as, as, you know, badass as the boys. And, and so nice. it was really fun. It was everything a little girl dreams of, you know. <laughs> At least this little girl. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, all right. I'm going to start off by saying you are absolutely gorgeous. And, I <laughs> <laughs> and I, it's your So did I, did I, like, uh, solicit that from you guys? Because <laughs> and I was going to tell you anyway. Okay. But, um, like, and it's your first con, so you're probably nervous. Don't worry. I'm nervous, too. Just asking. Thank but, uh, you. I have a couple of questions, like, Going back to Meg's relationship with Lucer, Lucifer, I know you, like, I think you worked with Mark Pellegrino in the past. Yeah. Um, would you have liked to have more scenes between Meg and Lucifer, like, back in that there showing? And you know, I'd like to have more scenes with everyone I've worked with. I've had, they, it really is so much fun. I can't, you know, I'm, I'm not just saying it. I've had so much fun working with every person on that show. Um, and Mark and I, Mark played my husband actually, uh, in a Without a Trace episode many years before, and he's, a, he's such a nice man to work with. Um, so, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah. And also, what Crow um, Crowley took Meg at the end of the season finale. What do you think he's doing to her down there? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I, I'm glad that I don't have to be there. <laughs> Interesting questions. I well, you know, I'm always waiting. It's one of the things I I do play a demon, so I always assume every episode that I read that I'm gonna be off <laughs> at some point. So um, you know, I'm sure that that is coming at some point in my future. Um, I I don't know that there's a nice way to go. Um, I kind of I guess have a secret wish that she'll do something. She'll actually sacrifice herself for the good, you know, for the good guys. I think that'd be awesome. Um, and I, I think it very much depends on how she goes in terms of whether the guys grieve her. And I don't know, I think Cass is the most likely to, because I do think there's some, there's some kind of mutual feeling. Miss Minor, I just wanted to say um, that you are one of my lady crushes. Cause you're awesome. <laughs> Thank but, you. You're welcome. But I believe that since your character is so, um, my mom's going to yell at me for saying this, but badass, I think she could do anything that she wants in the show. What would you like for her to do before the show ends? Um, okay, first of all, uh, I hope you don't get yelled at. She doesn't deserve to be yelled at. Because <laughs> Meg is. And I have a lady crush on Meg, so 
Um, I I hope that uh, I hope that Meg gets to do like one last hurrah, do something um, to help the the cause of the good um, before she goes. Um, so yeah, I, that that'd be something I'd, I'd love to do in some way. You know, put myself in front of the bullet, so to speak, or something like that. So yeah. Thank you so much. It's an honor, Miss Miner. Thank you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm honored to have heard that. We're very polite here. Yes, you are. Really? <laughs> I, I was just wondering Jersey, um, right? when Meg finds out about um, what happens with Castiel and I'm um, kind of Dean like hand in hand, but how do you think she's going to react and what do you think she would do to like if she would help him? It was, sorry, if she would help. If she helped Cass, like when she finds out what happened to him and where he is, what she, her reaction is going to be and what she would do. I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Again, I, you know, it's always speculation on my part, but I would hope, I guess, I have my own romanticized notion. I'd, I'd hope that she would always try to come to his aid. Um, and, uh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know beyond that, to be honest. Okay, thank you. Hi. Uh, hey, um, do you have any secret talents? And if you do, can you show us? <laughs> um, I, I'm generally not very talented. Right. Um, <laughs> I, I can't, okay, wait, there's one thing, but it's, it's kind of, and some people think it's gross. It's not, I don't think it's really gross, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'm double jointed, so I can do weird bendy things. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Um, I was just wondering, uh, how funny was it to just see, you know, after you and Cass kiss, and he goes, I learned that from the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> how funny was it in your mind, you're like, do I do it? Did you have to not break character, or did you just completely break character because of just how serious and deadpan? <laughs> you know, I'm pretty good at not breaking characters. I, I, and it's one I never end up for that reason. I never end up in blooper reels, which is really annoying. But, um, but I did think that was hilarious. Um, and you know, he did it. He did it justice. He really it was a very funny read. So yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, I have two questions completely unrelated. Okay. Um, since my friend would not look it up for me, I was wondering what your astrological sign is. Leo. Uh, Leo. Yes! yes! Okay. I just had my birthday. Yes! Oh, man, I'm so excited. I am also a Leo. <laughs> Yay! Um, nice to meet a fellow Leo. Yeah. Okay, um, and... <laughs> When's your birthday? August 19th. Happy almost birthday. Thank you! <laughs> okay, and uh, back to the awesome lines all the time. Like, yes. Yeah. Do you just completely like flub those up all the time? Because some of those are really complicated. I'm wondering, like, you just I I drill them. I really because because they are so great. I never want to say them incorrectly, so I just say them over and over and over until they come out. Like I could be woken up in my sleep and they can say them. Hi. Hey. I was just wondering that if for some reason you don't come back as Meg in season eight, if there was another actress that you had in mind to play her. Um, no, I think you, I think you guys should decide that. <laughs> um, I, there are so many. I, I'm a big fan of so many actresses, uh, and I'm a big fan of the character. So I'd be, I'd love to see so many people play it. So yeah. Thanks. Hi. Um, when we saw Meg in season five, she was gone for a long time before she showed back up in season six. What do you think she was doing behind the scenes that whole time? Um, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd love to read the fan fiction of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, uh, am I supposed to be wrapping this up? Okay. <laughs> um, thank you. Anyway, I, I really am so glad to be here and meet all of you guys. And thank you for being so welcoming. It really is. It's, it's an interesting thing, but 
uh, you know, it's just uh, something I never thought I'd like doing because I, I, I'm actually shy, uh, which is odd because I make my living being stared at. <laughs> but um, I, I really enjoy coming here, and I will say the only other convention I've done was in England, and equally, the, the fans in England are just the nicest group of people. I don't know what it is about this show that brings you guys out, but you just are such a cool, awesome group of people. So. I, I hope to meet you more one on one in the next, I guess, couple hours. So, yeah. so thank you. Thank you for all the awesome questions. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm confused. I don't know. My first yeah, question got go stolen, then you were done, and I'm losing it. brain function over here. Yeah. But, um, also, I'm glad to meet another Leo. My birthday is on Sunday. Happy birthday. Thank you. And um, I, my other question got stolen, so this is lame. But since this is your first con over here, did you come here with any questions you were expecting to be asked and you didn't? Or because I knew I'd plan out conversations that will never happen in my head. But, <laughs> Um, n not particularly. I actually try not to think about it too much because it's like one or two options for me. Either I way overthink or I can just not think about it at all. So I went for the not think about it at all and just showed up and went, well, I'll be honest and, you know, see what comes out. So, yeah. Also, I like your outfit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just have a question. Yeah. Woman to woman. Yeah. How would you drive the Impala? You know what, to be honest, I didn't really get to drive it. I only got to fake. But, but still, the seat. idea that I was driving the Impala was so freaking cool. Um, How does you know that Meg is the one who crashed that car? Awesome. I feel like I will be forever, no matter what else I do in my life. I have played an important role in something. Like, I have done something. Another season over, Dean has to fix the car again, That's right. and it's That's short right. And I left my mark. <laughs> and on that note, let's have a big hand for Angel, everybody.